Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shanley Davis. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist that works at the Children's Hospital Colorado and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. Here we have the Extraordinary Kids Clinic, which is a specialty clinic for children with XXY and other X and Y variations. One of the next questions I get is, how do, I, how do I know if my son needs to start testosterone or when he needs to start testosterone? So unfortunately, there aren't any great evidence-based answers for this question. However, when we have a lot of experience, I will share our approach here at the Extraordinary Kids Clinic. So as I mentioned before, we're monitoring those labs, LH, FSH, and total testosterone as puberty progresses over time. About a year into puberty, usually the FSH rises above the normal range, signaling that the body is asking for the testes to, to work harder, to keep up more. About two years after puberty starts, LH rises outside of that normal range. And it's really that LH hormone that's talking to the cells in the testicles that are producing testosterone. And so that LH rising outside of the normal range is really the first biochemical sign that the body is asking for more testosterone. Sometimes we can actually see signs of low testosterone on exam as well. Gynecomastia or breast development is one of the most um, specific signs for low testosterone or an imbalance of the testosterone to estrogen ratio. Although gynecomastia is super common in typical males going through puberty, most of the time in typical males it resolves, whereas in XXY or Klinefelter syndrome, it can stick around longer, maybe even forever, unless we um, start testosterone at appropriate, an appropriate age. Um, the last thing I look at in addition to the LH and the physical exam is the testosterone level itself. Typically in puberty, this is rising um, or increasing over time, and it would be abnormal for this to be declining in a typical adolescent boy. So a decline in testosterone levels would definitely indicate that the body is, is not making as much testosterone as it's supposed to be. Um, the last uh, um, uh, thing is that sometimes testosterone is either still rising but slower than we would expect or it's plateauing, so not rising when we would expect it to be rising. Um, those are all potentially um, indications that uh, testosterone should be started. However, this is always an ongoing discussion with the family and with the patient and um, um, monitoring both physical exam and those labs over time.